welcome to Expedition Networking, a special segment of the Networking RX podcast. I'm Frank Egan, founder and president of Amspirit Business Connections and your host for this program. For those of you who are familiar, on the Networking RX podcast, we share information and have conversations with experts, such as authors, researchers, and social scientists. And all of these programs are aimed at helping you learn how to become better at building professional relationships and understanding why they work. In this Expedition Networking segment, however, we're going to bring on successful entrepreneurs and unique professionals and explore their networking adventure and learn how they used relationships to create lasting success. Welcome to the Networking Rx Podcast. This is Frank Egan. You know, when I first started podcasting, oh boy, back in uh, the fall of 2018, originally it was just me. It was just me talking and I was going to be talking on topics related to networking and relationships and so on and so forth. And then somebody suggested to me that I should interview other people. And, you know, before I started interviewing people, even thinking about it, I remember thinking to myself, oh boy, I'm going to run out of topics. I mean, there's only so much anybody can talk about um, on any one particular subject. And then when somebody suggested I should interview people, I was like, okay, yeah, that, that gives me a little more runway, if you will, to have people to talk to and so on and so forth. But even still, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, what it was stressful for, for me because I, I couldn't... Uh, I knew there was a limit to to what I had, and there probably is a limit, but that limit has gotten much, much bigger in time. Because when I originally started to when I originally started to talk to people, um, I kind of went through my my Rolodex, if you will, my contacts. I'm like, okay, it it was it was divided into three categories: people I didn't want to interview, people who probably wouldn't come on. Um, and then the last group were the people that would come on and had and had something interesting to say. And um, there weren't there weren't a ton of people um, and there was an end in sight. But what started to happen is, is I just started asking for referrals and started be, uh, being introduced to other people um, and just continue to try and find individuals who. Uh, were out there who would be good people to have on the program, whether to talk about themselves and their journey or talk about something related, subject matter related to professional relationships. Um, and that kind of leads into today. Uh, today, I have on with me Vivian Claire Okiki, and she's the founder of the NGO Global Transformation Conference. And it's an organization whose mission is to transform, impact, and help individuals reach their peak. Um, Vivian Claire is also the co-founder of Black Owned Digital, which is an evolving digital marketing company that incorporates high-tech experts to provide a one-stop marketing service for clients. Um, if two words describe her, it would be business and impact. She enjoys transforming lives and building businesses, and hence those are really the kind of the tie-ins to her two companies. Uh, well, I what I will add, uh, and I'll just say this as a preface, um, in case the audio is not super great. Um, Vivian's in in uh, Nigeria, and uh, I, I, uh, well, Vivian, welcome. How you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for that wonderful introduction. I'm doing great. How are you doing, too? I'm doing well. Now, um, are, you, are you in, is it Lagos? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, Lagos. I'm not in Lagos, but then Lagos is like the most popular place in Nigeria. I'm not in Lagos at the moment, but I'll be going to Lagos soon. Okay. Well, you, I mean, are you originally from there? Okay. Lagos is like, the New York to America is just like the okay the most happening place you get. But then I'm not from there. I just based there where I'm settled. Because if you're interested in tech, you're interested in growth, mindset, that's where you see people with the hustling spirits, people who are more concerned about growth and development, as well as people to network with. Gotcha. Okay. Um, Global Transformation Conference. Well, let's first, let's, can you please share your story, how you, how you got to now? 
um, that would be a great starting point for us. Okay, so I had my exposure or the moments where I began to see things differently during was during the lockdown, realizing that everybody had to stay at home and people started looking for solutions. We're closed inside. How do we still get our products out there? How do we get our voice out there? So that was the moment where I started deep soul searching, researching, and trying to find a way to reach my peak, to go beyond the closed walls and everything. And then I dived into copywriting. Copywriting was one of the first skills I learned. It felt so good to be able to write so well and help businesses make sales. And then I evolved to more than copywriting. It felt like to make sales, it's not just the copy alone. There are other ingredients. So if I write good copy and you don't know how to send traffic there, you don't know how to, how to control the audience, it's just going to be a one, like only the hand doesn't make up the body. It's just like that. So I needed to learn all that skills. So if I want to help businesses, it has to be 100%. So that's where I went into marketing, digital marketing, and it has been fun since then. Okay. Yeah. Um, now I, I spoke on the uh, the global transformation conference. Okay. And and there were there were hundreds of people, if I'm not yeah. mistaken. Um, and that was amazing because I speak on a lot yeah. of conferences, and that was probably one of the most well attended. Uh, conferences and it went three days um and and you had you others you know i was in america i'm in the united states you had speakers from the uk you had speakers from all over really the world uh with the ones that made sense when i say made sense it's because um it's nighttime for somebody right now right somebody's in bed um so not everybody who works out for everybody but you had a lot of people from all over how did that all come yeah. together Okay, the whole idea of the conference came together when I realized that at that time when I was still searching and trying to find my voice, myself, my space, I realized that I needed a community, I needed guidance, but then the ones that were out there were usually paid and the ones that were free, they're not actually free because they never held. So I was like, whenever I get to the top or get a bit of dim light, I'm going to help as many people as possible. So that's how it all started. And then when I finally got to 2022, when my brand began to see, get exposure and all that, I decided to, okay, it's time to give back to the world. I feel like there are other people who still need guidance to get to where they're going to. So I decided to host a conference where people at the top, people like you and other wonderful speakers who come and share their story, what actually got them to the top. This will not only inspire the listeners, it's also going to give them a roadmap and a pathway to follow. That's when the whole idea came together. And to actualize it, I tell people that if you want to go for your dream, you don't need everybody to believe in you. Just have one person and that person is going to bring two other people, three other people, and that's how it's going, the magic is going to happen. So I reached out to a friend, I did doing, I told her about the story, about the vision, and she said, okay, that's a great idea. So she made a list of 10 people who would, would be facilitators who plan this thing together. And those 10 people decided to make a post on LinkedIn about it. And we got over 250 volunteers in one week who were interested in the vision. They wanted to be transformed as well, as well as help spread the message. So that's basically how it happened. And then the conference was a success because we already had ambassadors who are already in the team before the conference. Interesting. So you just to kind of go back, you said when you first started out, there were two, generally two types of people, the people who wanted to be paid to help you, and then the people who were willing to help you, but really didn't have anything to offer. Is that what you're kind of alluded to? Yeah, not that they didn't have anything to offer. Those who had something to offer and wanted to do it for free, is it that they didn't have the time? But it never held. It's just like saying, I'm going to do this for free, but just give me a day to get my schedule together. 
then a day turns to one week, it turns to one month, it turns to one year. It just feels like they're too busy to actually do this thing for free. And the paid one that was actually very, very valuable because I was just starting out, I didn't have money to do it, to attend those kind of conferences and community. So that's why I decided to create something for free to help people like that. So. Gotcha. Okay. No, I think that's, um, I think it's very smart. Uh, like I said, it was, it was impressive. I've been to many of these things and I, I know it was a, you know, it was your first time and it's only going to get bigger, right? Yes. That's the goal to help and reach as many people as possible. Were, were most of the people across Nigeria, um, across the African continent, or did, you know, do you know what the mix was? Do I know what? What's your uh, question? Well, uh, you know, there were lots of people on there. Where did they all come from? Were they, was it a, was it a, was the majority of them Nigerian based or uh, across the continent of Africa? Um, do you know, do you have any idea? Okay. Okay. I feel like if there were hundred persons, obviously there were more than hundred attendees, but if there were hundred persons, majority were Nigerian, 70%. I feel like that's because I'm in Nigerian and I got to reach Nigerians faster. But yeah. if I'm going to host another one, I'm going to have majority from different parts of the world. It's just going to spread across. Yeah, I mean, it would make sense that out of the gate, you're going to get a high concentration from from your neck of the woods, if you will. Um, but 30% yeah. outside of Nigeria is still a very impressive number, um, you know, especially for a first time conference. It'll, it'll only grow from there. Thank you very much. Um, let's talk about Black Owned Digital. Now, is that... That's your copywriting led into Black Owned Digital? Okay, Black Owned Digital is a marketing company and we are a group of tech enthusiasts, people with different tech skills such as SEO, copywriting, graphic design, digital marketing, email marketing. Think of it, everything that makes a business get visible and grow online. We are just one-stop agency that provides them with all those services. So a group of tech enthusiasts that came together, instead of having people look around and get confused on how to handle their marketing issue, why don't we just bring all our skills together and help businesses start, grow, and scale without having to worry about the puzzles? Okay. Um, to, uh, how many people are involved in Black Owned Digital? Okay, currently we have 15 people who are providing different skills. Wow, that's impressive. That's it. That's it. Now, did you know all of these people beforehand or was it kind of like, you know, a couple and other people knew more and so on and so forth? Okay, um, I met my co-founder and... He was the initiator of the idea. He was, he's very, very particular about helping businesses. So he came to me, I was the first person he met, and then I was able to develop the idea and work with him. And then we started reaching out to other people one by one. He knew some other persons, I knew some other persons, and we were able to bring these people together. Gotcha, okay, okay. Um, are they scattered across? Well, I guess there's lots of ways you can divvy up the world. We can say, okay, there's Nigeria, there's Africa. Um, you know, from, our, from where I'm sitting, that's all the Eastern hemisphere. You're all in the Eastern hemisphere. I know there were people, a lot of people from the United Kingdom that were on your conference. Um, are, are participants or providers, service providers within black owned digital, um, are they pretty much across that, I guess, almost that time zone, really? Okay. Most of them are within Africa. Most okay. of the people in my team are within Africa. Okay. Where, what parts of, uh, 
where would you like to grow this most? I guess where, where, well, not where you would like to grow it most, but where, where do you see a challenge in trying to grow it? Okay, what are the challenges trying to grow it? Yeah. Question. Okay, the challenge most especially is being a startup, having to, having to, the budget to actually manage people, to pay salaries, to, I don't know how to put it, but I feel like you started something before. At the early stage, it's usually very hard. Someone told me that you never start anything, especially when it comes to business, without having to spend more than at least half of your day trying to figure out most of it because you're just starting out. And then you have to outsource, you have to handle most, you have to, you just have to make it work. So the challenge is usually the budget. I feel like if I have probably $10 million, I wouldn't have to stress it. I'll just bring in the best minds from all over the world, pay them and have them do what I actually want. But the challenge usually for startup is usually the budget and also finding the best people. That's also another challenge because there are so many people out there, but there are only few that are the best. So bringing all this best together and having a budget I think that's the best part of it. If I have a budget, I have the figure, and I have I have a way of getting the best people to, I think that's my secret, but having the budget, it's really important. Yeah, no, I think no matter where you are, money makes the world go round. Um, and it's, <laughs> in a way, it's kind of a chicken and the egg problem, which comes first, the, you know, the, the money or the project. Um, it's 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 a difficult balancing act to try and make it work and that's that's it doesn't matter where you are in the united states in the united kingdom you know across africa um you're going to run into those similar problems are there yeah. particular professionals that you're still trying to build out into black owned digital yeah, there are some professionals we're still looking out for, and hopefully we'll get them soonest. But it all depends on the project. So if you have a project at hand that requires a programmer, definitely we're going to hire a programmer, the best person, as soon as possible for the project. So for now, the projects we're handling, we have everybody in the team for it. Okay. So essentially project, you can go find somebody when you need somebody. Exactly. Okay. Um, what's happening with uh, the Global Transformation Conference? Uh, you're going to do it again next year, right? Um, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. I already have like the idea for the next kind of conference, but I guess I'm just waiting for I don't know, the spark or the time when it will be fully formed, the idea will be complete in my head. I know that there's never a time where the idea will be complete, but there's a moment where you know that it has to happen right now. So that yep. moment, that's what I'm looking for. But it doesn't have to be yearly. It can be every three months, it can be every four months. But in between those major conferences, there's going to be weekly programs that will keep the people motivated. So for instance, this week Friday, we have a conference with a copywriter, Chinedu Jr., just me and him talking about his journey, how he got to six figure. So those kind of conferences will also help people before the major ones. So what's just particular about growing people, it doesn't matter whether it's a big conference or a small conference, as long as people are impacted. Okay. If somebody wants to learn more about the uh, the GTC, Global Transformation Conference, where would they go or how would they get a hold of you? Would that be the way to go? Sure. If they want to learn more about the Global Transformation Conference, they can just search for our website on Google, globaltransformationconference.org. They will be able to if they want to register as a volunteer or as an ambassador, as a trainee, whatever, they'll be able to do that on the website. But if they want to get access or a feel of how the conference went, or they want to watch the replay, everything is on YouTube. Just search for Global Transformation Conference and you'll get the videos. 
Okay, great. Best way to get a hold of you? What would be the best way to get a hold of you? LinkedIn. LinkedIn is it. Just okay. search for Vivian Clue, KK. You find me on LinkedIn. Okay. That's uh I well obviously I'll have your your name in the uh in the show notes and uh people will be able to find you there. Vivian Claire, I really appreciate your time today. Thank you very much. Uh it was wonderful talking to you. You have a great uh, have a great day. I know it's late there. I appreciate you making the extra time to come on to the program. All right. Thank you. Have a great day too. And to everybody listening, I wish you all the best. Thanks for joining us on the Networking Rx podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is a copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.